Hi, everyone. Welcome back to the CRE Power Hour. I'm Stephanie Gillison, and I am here with my amazing co-host, Lisa Marie Wand. And congratulations on that massive closing you had, Lisa Marie, because she just closed a $20 million huge facility in Reno, Nevada. So she Thank gets you. to go to Greece, Italy, and wherever Ooh. else here soon. So <laughs> today I'm excited because, um, gosh, what was it? Maybe three months ago, I was able to sit in the audience and hear about AI. I had heard about AI, but I'd never even thought about implementing it, implementing it into my business. And lo and behold, there's Phil Stringer up on the stage. And the entire time, my jaw has dropped. My director of operations is sitting next to me. And I'm like, Diana, are you writing this down? Diana, sign us up. Let's get this going. So it was one of the amazing speeches. And you know, just educational matter of how we can innovate in our business, right? I mean, that's what keeps us all relevant. So Phil, welcome to the show today. Uh, thanks for taking time out because I know you are traveling all over the country, speaking to audiences of real estate brokers so that they can implement this in. And, you know, we talked a little bit before the show, but commercial, you know, they've always been a little bit behind. And so we wanted to have you on put you in the forefront of how AI has really changed your business as it relates to real estate as well. So thank you. Yeah, I love it. Thank you so much for having me on. It's an honor to be here and excited to talk to both of you guys. Yeah. So Phil, talk. To, first off, I never got to ask these questions, obviously, at the, at the uh, conference, but how did you even get into AI? Like, where did that become part of you? Yeah, so I'm I'm a chief operating officer of a mega team brokerage, Jason Bramlett Real Estate in Greensboro, North Carolina. And so that's my real estate background. But I've always enjoyed technology. I've always really liked, you know, software and different things like that. It's, it's always been an interest for me. And so when AI was starting to get big, you know, it's been what, probably a year now since it started to really get in the forefront of people's mind. Um, chat GPT getting more, um, you know, everyone knows about it now, right? So yeah. it's almost like AI has just exploded in the last eight months. Um, what I thought when I saw AI getting so popular and people were starting to utilize it, which they don't even realize that we've been using AI for a long time, it's just now getting more mainstream. But my thought was, okay, with some of these tools, how can I use this for real estate? Right. And obviously I'm going to think that because that's my industry. Um, but I didn't see anyone on the real estate side really dive deep into AI to say, OK, here's how you can use it in a different way. Like, yeah, we can create Facebook posts and yeah, we can create a listing description and it'll save us time. But how can we utilize AI to grow our business, to generate more revenue, to be way more productive, to be more efficient and really do the things that are going to move the needle? Like that's the important stuff. And so as, um, you know, as a business and as a real estate company, I thought I want to know how to use this thing to actually move the needle and to do some things that will help our team. And so that's basically where the whole AI thing came from. And that's, that's how I got started in it. That is so awesome. I think one of the things that sticks out to me the most is, and, and I, th this is a great thing and then it's a bad thing at the same time. So if I misquote, you know, you correct it, but when you were able to eliminate bodies, relying on certain number of bodies, because you were able to utilize AI to replace exactly what those bodies were doing for you. Talk to us about that. Yeah, I mean, you think about it and it's it's one of the fears that people have when they hear AI. First off, people either don't understand it or they're scared of it or they just really don't know where to start, right? There, there's a lot of misconceptions. You know, you hear artificial intelligence and you think back to like uh, movies with robots or, you know, Terminator, things like that, where robots are going to come and, and destroy the world. And so there's a lot of misconceptions. There's a lot of confusion around artificial intelligence. But like I said, we've been using it for years and years and years. I mean, Siri's artificial intelligence, Alexa's artificial intelligence the dang here's what to watch next because you you know recommended shows on Netflix that's artificial intelligence and so essentially artificial intelligence is just um, you know data that's used to create more data and so there's this widespread um, misunderstanding of what AI really can do and what it does but 
you know, for, for me specifically as a business owner, if I can 10 X my productivity, or if I can 10 X my efficiency and I can get things done way quicker than before at a higher level of quality, why would I not explore that option? Right. Mm -hmm. Um, I am not in the business that I'm in to be someone who creates content all day and posts on Instagram. Do I know that having a consistent content schedule or posting on Instagram or LinkedIn or Twitter or, you know, Facebook, whatever your platform is, do I know that posting on those things will help my business? Yes. But I don't have the time to spend 30 hours a week creating content, shooting, editing, coming up with captions. So if I have tools that can either help me do that really quickly so that I can then use my time to focus on higher value activities, I'm going to pursue that 100%. Now, if I have people in my organization that do those things for me that I'm paying, well, I can either eliminate some of those positions and not have all of them because we're able to produce 10x content, or I can teach my people how to use these tools so that they can 10x their output So now I'm paying a certain amount for people and I'm getting 10 X the results from what I'm paying with my overhead. So it's either reducing overhead altogether or it's creating way more content and we're getting much more value from the current overhead that we have. And so for me, it's, you know, even outside of real estate now, I'm I'm coaching a bunch of different industries on how can you get the efficiency and the productivity using AI tools and either reduce overhead or, you know, just create 10 X more content. And so I like the, I like the idea of adding more value, adding more content with the people that you have. Um, Because like you mentioned in the beginning, even artificial intelligence has been around forever. People just don't realize it. And so they get afraid like, Oh my gosh, what's going to happen to our job? But you can never replace the, creativity and the connection of people. And um, I use a certain website that actually tracks um, C-suite level executives at companies all across the globe, what they're searching for online. And then the artificial intelligence is gathering all of that information and bringing it to me. So if I want to search for someone who's, you know, an executive at, um, Walmart that's searching for leasing. And then I want to reach out to them because I, this artificial intelligence helps me gather this information and I can target clients at a much higher level. So I see exactly what you're talking about. There's this gap though, where um, you come in with the education of how this can be utilized to um, focus on the high payoff activities, right? Because people like Stephanie, you and I, we don't want to be pushing paper or doing this all day, we want to use our time at the highest level possible. So what I hear you saying is that artificial intelligence can help you do that if you if you choose to make friends with it. Absolutely. And I think the, the important part here is understanding everyone says, hey, AI is going to replace our job. AI is going to replace our job. You cannot replace that human element, especially in real estate, right? You can't replace the relationships, the human element. So here's what I always say. AI is not going to replace your job, but a real estate agent using AI will. And so that's what we have to understand is that other agents who are utilizing these tools will be able to run circles around you because they'll be able to do 10x productivity and they're going to be delivering something that is way better as far as a product or service to their clients. You won't be able to compete And so I don't mean to scare people, but it's like, man, you have an opportunity right now to jump on some of these easy tools and you don't have to be a tech master. You don't have to even like computers or phones or whatever. It's so simple to use that if you don't implement this technology, you will be left behind because other people will run circles around you. So I like to relate it to, uh, let's say 25 years ago in real estate, what was the MLS? Well, it was a catalog, right? A book. It was a book. <laughs> a so I book. ask people like who have been book. in real estate for longer than 25 mm-hmm. years, I say, look, if you hadn't evolved with technology and you said, nope, I'm not doing that internet thing, would you be in business right now? They're like, no. absolutely, not. absolutely not. So it's like any other tool. 
if you don't evolve, you will die. It's evolve or die. That's all it is. And the people who jump on quickly and get ahead of the game are the people who generally win. You look at Jeff Bezos with the internet. He jumped on it quickly and he got ahead of the game. So it's so important that we understand AI and we start implementing it. Now, I'm not saying that you need to go through and you need to do what I've done and spend all of your time digging into researching what tools are good, what tools are bad, but you have to get yourself in the right rooms and around the right people who can condense time for you because That's they've right. done the research and they can say, look, use these two tools. Don't focus on anything else right now. Just do these three things, these four things. Don't worry about the thousands of other bells and whistles because that's going to take you down a rabbit trail and you don't need to focus on that. You need to focus on high value activities, building relationships, building relationships with clients. You don't need to think like, okay, I'm going to spend all my time watching YouTube videos about AI tools. That's not your job, right? That's right. That's right. Well, Phil, I, you know, after I saw you speak and uh, immediately signed up for your 12 week course, which I'm in as, as well as my administrative people, because I want them to be 10 times productive. You know, it's amazing because I don't have to be super smart as it relates to the internet in order to do what you're teaching us to do. And what you're teaching us to do is to use AI, but not just logging on to chat GPT and typing in things. You're actually shortcutting us to giving the right uh, the commands so that we get back the exact information. You're, you're teaching us how to ask the right questions, give those right prompts. And what's coming back out is mind blowing because where it used to be some of the, like, I'll just point on SEO for a second, where it used to be that we would have to tap into, you know, VAs or wherever doing this SEO on our website or our listings or whatever. You've taught us now how here's the listing. Now give me the friendly, I mean, you know, it, obviously there's a whole lot of steps, but it, it's not hard. Right. And so we're maximizing mm -hmm. our advertising by just utilizing those those prompts and commands. You've done the heavy lift for us and I appreciate that. And I think that's why that's why we wanted to have you on here today because it can be that easy for even the person that has a hard time logging on to Zoom. For sure. And you know, I, I joke that I uh, tested all of my theories and all of the things on my grandma, right? Like <laughs> <laughs> if you can copy and paste, you can win with AI. Yeah. If you can right. copy and paste, you can win with AI. It doesn't take a rocket scientist. It doesn't take a brain surgeon. Like this is easy stuff. And yeah. there are some tools that are harder than others, but there are some tools that are very easy to use that you can start implementing in your business to save you so much time and money. And even if the only thing you do is let's say save 10 hours a week from low value activities that you were having to do before, now you have 10 free hours to spend on high value revenue generating activities that alone will change your business. I mean, that's 520 hours of high value activity a year, right? It's a lot of time. That's a lot of time that you now have that you can separate yourself from the market because most people are not using this tool or they're using it the wrong way. They don't know mm -hmm. how to use it. So let's say you trained yourself or you got in a class or you, you know, put yourself in a room with people who taught you how to use it the right way, like you have done, right? And you have now leveraged 10 hours a week that you got back to focus on sales, to focus on relationship building, to focus on revenue items. Can you imagine how much you would distance yourself from 95% of the market, 95% of the other agents who aren't using this? because you have 520 hours dedicated to high value activity, revenue generating activity, client building that they mm -hmm. don't have. That's, that's a game changer. That's an absolute game changer. You know, I, um, I was using, I found this AI resource recently because I'm um, working with a lot of data for large companies in spreadsheets. And I found an AI tool that helps me create spreadsheet formulas. So that right there, um, because I'm not an Excel guru by any means. However, I do use Excel to filter lots of data with multiple filters. And um, just utilizing this AI tool that helps with the Excel spreadsheet formulas um, allows me to utilize that data at a higher level. So am I going to call 
this group of people first, or am I going to call these people? Like, where is the opportunity and how can I use this AI to help me identify, um, uh, you know, an immediate opportunity versus something that's maybe down the road is it helps me fill my pipeline, right? Absolutely. I love it. And, you know, it's a tool like anything else is a tool. It's a tool and you're only going to get out of it what you put in. That's right. I think that's what people don't understand is they look at tools like chat GPT and they're like, oh, it's free. It's so widespread. Everyone's using it. It's this magic bullet. I can ask it whatever I want and it's going to give me these magical, you know, stuff back. Well, it will give you amazing stuff back if you know how to ask it the right questions and in the right way. And if you don't, you will get generic responses back and people will get frustrated because you're not going to get back what you're wanting, you know? So that's the power is asking it the right way, knowing how to respond, how to ask, how to, you know, ask more questions and kind of filter down what you're wanting until you get the result you want. Well, and here's my thought. And tell me if you're, if you agree with this, Phil, is um, I've been playing around with chat GPT for a little bit. And what I'm finding is I'm getting smarter using chat GPT. So AI is helping me become more intelligent and I'm a, you know, I have an MBA. I'm an educated gal. I'm always studying. And as I'm playing with this, I'm like, oh, my gosh, I'm learning stuff just by um, inputting information into chat GPT. It's making my brain work better. What do you think about that? I 100 percent agree. You know, I had a there was a video and I think it was from that shareholders event that you went to, Stephanie. Yeah, there was a little clip. I think it's like 40 seconds. And um, last time I checked, there was, I think over four or 5 million views on it on Instagram. But all I said was, um, what if you were to go into chat GPT and tell it that you have a specific client that you're wanting to target? So this could be a specific market in real estate, specific price point, right? Ask chat GPT to list some potential pain points or problems that that buyer or seller could face in purchasing or selling their home, right? Well, then you take those potential problems based on that market, based on that price point, based on all the data that you've given it, and you create ads or content around solving the problem of the target audience you're wanting to acquire, right? And that was the video, but it's this quick 40 second thing. And now it doesn't go into the details of like, look, you need to prime it with here's my business. Here's where I'm located. This is what we're trying to accomplish. My target audience is this, right? My ad preferences are this. My marketing strategy is this. I didn't go into all the details of making it a really good ad, right? I just gave it the basic premise. And so there's a ton of comments on there where they're just like, oh my gosh, this is a great idea. But then there's also comments where people are saying that it doesn't work that way. Nope, you, you clearly don't even know how to use ChatGPT. You've never used ChatGPT before and you're pretending like, you know, so there's people who oppose it. But the interesting thing is, is that people don't understand how to actually prime this thing to where you're giving it specific information about your business and your goals, your target audience, what you're trying to accomplish. And if you do that before you create your content, your content is very specific, very targeted, very powerful in solving the problem of your target audience, right? That's the value that we bring is here's the problem that we solve for you. And so in any ad or in any content piece in marketing in general, you want to solve the problem of the target audience you're trying to acquire. And there are ways to do that with chat GPT that 10 X your time to where I could write 20 ads, run all 20 of them, figure out which one performs best, and then cut it down to the top one, two, three ads that are running. And people are like, oh, so you don't use your brain anymore? You just have it right for you? And I'm like, no, you don't understand all the work to Lisa Marie's point of it's actually made me smarter to where I'm thinking, well, what is my exact target audience? And I have to now, um, I have to now say that and type that out. What is my exact ad strategy? How much do I want to spend on ads? What is my branding? What is my value proposition? What sets me apart in the market? What's the problem that I solve as an agent, right? It makes you think of these things when you're priming it correctly, whereas I might not have thought about uh, answering those questions before. Does that make sense? 100%. Yeah. This, the strategy piece of it, it's like anything else. Um, you know, Stephanie and I have coached and mentored a lot of agents. And 
um, getting very specific about your value proposition and where your focus is in, in this business. Um, tell me if you agree with this, Phil. One of the biggest challenges is getting distracted. It's that squirrel syndrome because you want to attack so many different aspects of your business. And, and I know even for myself, staying focused is one of the most important things. Like here's my top three, um, you know, ideal clients or the top three things I'm working on high payoff activities. Yep. And just the sheer fact of the power of being specific about what your target and your goal is. I mean, that has a whole nother level of the stuff that Stephanie and I've been talking about for, and probably you too, for so long is having people be able to express their value proposition, what sets them apart, what are the, what are the issues of the client? How can you solve those, the pain points? So it, chat GPT or whatever tool that you're using can really help you hone in on your message and your client um, and, and become way more effective. And then, cause you know, I say if everyone's your client, no one's your client. Yeah. Really it's important to create that target. Yeah, that's so good. And I think if people can realize that AI is not this magic bullet, that's going to create 100% perfect content for you. Well, what if it writes the copy or the script for your video and it gets 80 or 90% of it done for you? And then you go in and you tweak it. Well, you, you've just saved 80 to 90% of your time, right? It doesn't have to be like, oh man, it didn't get it perfect. Well, tweak it to make it your own, tweak it to, um, to do what you're wanting it to do, but at least you're saving the 80% of you know, getting the information out there. And so, um, but to your point of speaking, specifically focusing Easy in for you to say <laughs> know, right specifically <laughs> focusing in on a couple things yeah that is so important because i think uh stephanie you know you're in my academy so you know that i've said yeah. it a couple times where i'm like guys i have a, a pdf a free pdf that i send people where it's like these are the top tools um for real estate T top 10 and i say guys focus on two of them one or two do not try and do all 10 but look at them and say, okay, I could do that and pick one or two, because if you try and implement six, seven or eight of them, you won't be good at any of them. Right. Mm -hmm. And so pick one or two tools that you were like, you know what, this will change the game for me and just focus on those one or two things. And you'll be able to absolutely provide way more value, save time, be more efficient. And so um, we just have to understand the shiny object syndrome, man, yes we can't go down those rabbit trails. We just can't it, because then we'll be totally unfocused. And I like to say that the, um, the art of focus, sometimes we think is figuring out what to focus on, but the art of focus is actually figuring out what to ignore. Yes. Yeah. You know, say no. <laughs> just say no and, and pick one or two things. And so I, I feel like a lot of people with AI, they think, Oh, well, that's just another thing that I've got to learn. That's just another, you know, I'm going to have to go through hundreds of tools and figure out which ones are the best. No, just pick one or two things, implement that, and it will save you so, so much time. You know, I look at it, it's so true. And I look at it as, you know, the last 24 years in this business, I don't know how many different marketing, brand strategists, um, social media people, you name it, right? That you you, you, they're emailing, they're direct messaging me on LinkedIn, they're content creators, they're this, they're that. And, and you know, I've always been the, the person, and Lisa Marie, you too, where we want to we want to see the people we're working with, right? If they're going to have access to our stuff, we want to understand it. And what we've been able, because of you, Phil, teaching us, what we've been able to utilize ChatGPT for and some of the other AI tools that you've introduced to us and taught us how to utilize is the person that doesn't have all that marketing experience, doesn't have that SEO background, doesn't know how to write code. We don't necessarily have to go find those people anymore because you've now taught us the tools that replaces that so that the person I trust, the body that I want to make sure stays employed with me can now implement that. And that's what got me excited about AI is the fact that 
instead of waiting or going through that interview process or trying to figure out strategically how we're going to get these videos out, what platforms they need to go on, what algorithm is Instagram using versus Facebook versus, you know, there's a million things out there. Yeah. I mean, look, I'm 45 years old. I'm on all that stuff, but I don't do any of it because I don't want to. I, right. It's not where I want to spend my time, right? Yep. But now my people are armed and, and, and have the knowledge now to utilize these tools with AI so that we do look stellar, so that it does look like we have some new brand strategist that's behind us. And no, we don't. We just attended Phil's class. <laughs> Thank you, Phil. It's your, it's your own team. And, um, and Phil, I definitely want you to talk about your class today while you're on the show. But here's something else because my brain just like we're having this conversation, my brain starts spinning. I think about, um, and I know we all have these, these lists of things that we want to accomplish, but they're not urgent and they're maybe not important. So they, they sit over here and they gather dust. Well, now with the, with these tools and the time that it creates, you can begin to tackle some of these um, tasks that maybe are becoming urgent and, or are becoming important and utilize these tools to, to bring them to the forefront and, and just be way more, um, you know, you accomplish more and then all that stuff that you want to do or you have a desire to do or something you want to go after, you've got some time to do it. And I absolutely love that because right. those ideas that I have that are in na nagging in the back of my brain or I've written them down in a book or on my iPhone in my notes. And now I'm like, oh, I could have some bandwidth to do that. And if I don't have the skill, I can learn it and become smarter using AI. Absolutely. That to me is just mind blowing. Yeah. And, oh. you know, there, there are certain tools. It's not just chat GPT. There's a lot of AI tools out there, right? I mean, yeah. we see them. They're, they're coming. AI is here to stay and it's just going to become more and more and more prevalent. But you think about that, what you just said, Lise Marie, you think about that and you say, okay, maybe someone has on their list, you know, I know I need to do more video but I just don't have the time to one, come up with the content ideas because mm -hmm. it's hard to come up with lists of content of what am I gonna talk about, right? Well, ChatGPT does an amazing job at that. I literally just logged off of a masterclass training with some agents and in 30 minutes, we created two years worth of content yeah. posting videos for the next two years and it was content that's specific to their own business. Everyone's list was different. Because we trained ChatGPT on what was important to them, what market they're in, what their current clients are, what their target audience is. We trained it on all of that. And then we created the content calendar from that. So everyone's content calendar was different based on their business. But we got so many ideas done. They don't have to do it for the next year or two, right? Like now they'll go in and as the market changes, they're going to do market specific things. But imagine having two years of a content counter that you can pull from at any time and shoot a video and the script is done for you. You have exactly what you need. You don't have to come up with the content, right? But the powerful thing here is understanding, okay, we have basically eliminated that whole hurdle of, well, I don't know what content to post, right? Or I don't have time to shoot the video or I don't have time to edit the video and put on the captions. And what do I do? Do I put music on it? Do I not? Well, there are certain tools like uh, Stephanie's familiar with one of these because she's in my program, one called Opus Clip, where you have a video, you upload a raw video. Uh, it could be a two hour training. It doesn't matter. It cuts it to vertical for you for TikTok, Instagram, YouTube shorts. It adds the captions in for you automatically and it creates from your long form video it creates several different options of short form content pieces and it gives you all of these videos done in five minutes yeah. right so i uploaded a 10 minute training uh, just a quick little thing that i did for our team camera was in the back of the room it's a wide shot video nothing else was done to it i uploaded that 10 minute video i got eight different Instagram reels slash TikToks from that captions are done. Everything is cut together, but it uses AI curation, which is basically it understands the transcription of the video. So it knows what you're talking about from mm -hmm. the transcription and it makes short form content, 30, 40, 50 seconds videos 
based on what's being said and what they feel like would be a good video. So yeah. now you look at that, Lisa Marie, and you say, okay, someone who said, this is on my list and I wish I could get to it, but I just don't have time to do video right now because I don't know how to edit. I don't know how to add, add the captions. I don't know what to do. Yeah. And you are the content. You hit record. You upload that video to Opus Clip. And now you've got eight different YouTube shorts or eight different Instagram reels or whatever. So these tools are allowing us to say, you know what? I don't have an excuse anymore. Yeah. And that's why I say the people using the tools will so run true. circles around you. It's right? so true. I used to teach a, a social media marketing class for commercial real estate agents in EXP world. And I taught it every month and I even provided all of the students or all the agents attending a 12 month social media calendar already done for them. And how many, what percentage of the people that attended that class over the two and a half years I was with eXp commercial, what percentage do you think actually did anything with that? Four. I was going to say yeah. 6%. <laughs> Yeah, I would say 5% or less. And, um, and even, you know, quotes and holiday posts, like everything was in there for 12 months. And um, now it's like, what's your excuse? And I love that because there's no excuses. Like Steffi says, there's no crying in commercial real estate. There shouldn't be <laughs> any excuses either. And I think about all the money I've spent, you know, years ago, I went away to a boot camp for um, Phil for Facebook ads to build, you know, very detailed avatars for Facebook ads. Well, who, we don't need to do that stuff right. anymore. No. Maybe you don't need to travel to go to uh, some of these trainings we can do, or maybe we build our own training. Yeah. You know, I mean, it's endless opportunities. And speaking of which, can you, will you talk about your um, 12 week masterclass that you have? Yeah, we have, uh, it's called the AI agent Academy. So uh, information for that is at the AI agent academy.com. Um, where you can find out more information, but we do a 12 week course. Uh, Stephanie can tell you, I don't like wasting time. <laughs> it's fast. I love it because oh, yeah. my attention span is very short and that's what I love about it. 30 yeah. minutes and it's genius. 30 minutes. It's concentrated. I share my screen. I create content. I show you how to do certain things with AI tools in front of you, right? So that you can take notes. You have replays so you can rewind, pause, go back to it if you need to. I am just of the camp that, look, if I'm sitting through an hour or a two hour training and it could have been done in 30 minutes, you're wasting my time. Right. Yes, so, please. yeah, <laughs> and, I'm the just like, look, and all the resources you provide, we have those always. And we're able to go back to those um, as well. And then too, just the, the pure collaboration of the classmates. I mean, you know, everyone's helping each other because, you know, it's all. Uh, you know, it, it, it's been extremely beneficial. I'm glad we're in it. And, um, you know, we'll use that stuff forever. And, and you know, as soon as more stuff comes out, I'll hit you back up and sit there through another class. <laughs> <laughs> so let me just re repeat the URL because it's kind of long. Yeah. VAIAgentAcademy.com. You got it. That's is it. that what you said? Yeah. And how how else? So is this, talk, talk to us about, because you're focused on the, on you're the CEO of a big residential team. Um Talk to our audience about, you know, application for commercial real estate. You yeah, there's, I mean, so the course is really focused on um, AI for real estate. Now, I do have doctors, I have software engineers, I have uh, marketing firms on the call, right? So it's not just real estate, real estate because yeah. the, the things that you learn in the class really can be applied to any industry, right? And that's true, yeah. Sure. And I go specific with real estate, but um, you know you can use it for anything. Um, but the interesting thing for real estate, I mean, anytime you talk about, the whole thing is leveraging time. In one word, if I were to say the benefit of the leverage. class, it's leverage yes. in one word, okay? We love leverage, right, Stephanie? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> anytime you can get a similar output with less input, you're creating leverage, right? So let's say it takes you an hour to create a Facebook post and that is going to get you a certain output. Well, if you can create that same Facebook post in one minute, well, you've created 59 minutes of leverage, right? And so what we're able to do is we're able to 
uh, especially for content creation. I mean, email marketing campaigns, text message campaigns, video, right? So short form, long form, blogs, um, content calendars, even kind of like I went into with um, generating ads, right? Generating leads. There's a tool um, that will create eBooks and lead magnets where you can have, um, take any type of content, create an eBook and have that as a downloadable resource where people give you their contact information. So let's say you're, an, you're a solo agent and you wanna focus on listings. So you have some type of content. Let's say you created a video or you wrote a blog or whatever about top five um, tips on before you sell your home, right? Whatever. Well, first off, I'm gonna teach you how to write that content or create that content using AI so that you can do it in a 10th of the time. But once you have that content, there's another AI tool that will turn that content, that video, that podcast, that blog, whatever, into an ebook, a flip book, or a download that you can offer to your list or offer online to say, hey, look, you want the top five tips before selling your home? Here's a free download. Well, they give you your name, email address, and phone number, what are, you do, what are you doing here? You're using it as a lead magnet to get these contacts, these new leads. And if they're downloading a tip on how to, how to sell their home, top five tips, probably a good chance that they're wanting to sell their home or they have someone who's wanting to sell their home or they wouldn't be downloading it. So now you're getting these leads. And so there's a lot of different things that you can do through ads, through um, content, through you know email marketing. And we basically go through how can you leverage yourself to 10x your productivity, 10x your efficiency, and generate revenue using ChatGPT, not just, hey, how do I create a listing description, which we go through too, um, but there's it's deeper than that, right? And everything Phil just said, I've done it on the commercial side, or, or my, my, my support staff has with OMs, CIMs, you name it. It's the same thing. It doesn't matter what you're talking about, what subject it is you're talking about. It can all be created. And so, you know, to, to be able to have this, just, just imagine how much better this presentation can be with utilizing these tools that he teaches us. So it's badass, Phil. Thank you so yeah. much. It's awesome. Thanks for being here. It, <clears throat> if someone's not quite ready to take your class yet, Phil, but they want to interact with you, I think you said something earlier about a free download. Do they yeah. go to the same website and you have something there? Yeah, you can find there's a I'll give you a link for the free download. Essentially, what this download will give you is top 10 real estate tools, AI tools that you can start implementing. And it has mm -hmm. the links to those tools. So you can kind of pick, like I said, pick one or two. Uh, that you feel like you could start implementing. Opus, that short form video editor that we were just talking about is yeah. one of those tools on that list of 10. And then I also have a place where you can uh, get access to 10 chat GPT prompts that you can copy and paste in. So I've mm -hmm. created really good prompts for real estate where you just copy my prompt, you paste it into chat GPT, and I have little brackets of variables where if you wanted to change something like your specific market, your price point, what you're trying to do, you just put in your information, right? Then you get specific results. And so this PDF um, will give you access to those tools, those prompts. Um, it's AIToolsPDF.com. So AIToolsPDF.com. And that takes you to the, that free download. AIToolsPDF.com. Awesome. That's great. You added so much value today. It was great to have you on the show, Phil. And um, yeah, this is, I'm excited to see what's to come with all of this. So I think it's going to, it's going to move pretty quickly. And for those of us that adopt um, working with AI to make ourselves better, to make ourselves more intelligent and to offer our services to a wider scope of people, I think it's, it's awesome. So thanks so much. Thank you so much for having me on. It's been it's been an honor. Love spending time with you guys. Thank you, Phil. See you Tuesday. All right. <laughs> Take care. All right. Bye.